YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone Season 1 brought about plenty of new content from new maps, including Radar and Paradise, to new guns, including the Cooper Carbine and the Garanko anti tank rifle. However, as laid out in the Season 1 roadmap posted by Call of Duty before the release of Season 1, there has been plenty of content that has gone unreleased since Season 1 was announced. However, plenty of that unreleased content is coming very, very soon as we are soon getting the Season 1 Reloaded update here in Vanguard as well as Warzone. The Season 1 Reloaded update in Vanguard and Warzone is going to be a typical because it's not going to be the usual season reloaded update that we saw such as in Cold War because season 2 is actually right around the corner starting next month. With season 2 starting very very soon of course there isn't going to be much updates as far as content goes with season 1 reloaded just due to the sheer fact that developers are really focusing on season 2. It would honestly be safe to say that the festive fervor holiday event was more like the season 1 reloaded update, although it wasn't the official mid-season update, that's kind of what it became. Now of course the content in that update was just a little bit controversial with fans such as the elves and of course all of our best friend Krampus. However, we are now getting the actual season 1 reloaded update, so this update actually goes live tonight at midnight, so Midnight Eastern Time when it becomes Wednesday the 12th, that's when that update goes live and also it will go live in Warzone 24 hours later. So along with some updates in Vanguard, that of course is going to correlate to some updates in Warzone because the two games of course being integrated means that all of their updates as far as content goes for the most part go hand in hand. Probably the two biggest content updates coming into both Vanguard and Warzone are going to be the brand new Wellgun SMG as well as the Katana melee weapon. It would be safe to bet that these weapons are going to be unlocked via in-game challenges such as the mid-season weapons we have seen in Cold War so that it depends what the challenges could be. You're going to probably have some challenges in Warzone, some challenges in Zombies and of course some challenges in Vanguard multiplayer to unlock these brand new weapons. It'll be really interesting to see how these weapons fare in the current state of Vanguard, see if they're really effective. Of course, the Katana is just a melee weapon, but this Wellgun SMG could really shift the SMG meta, hopefully away from the MP40. That being said, of course, these two weapons are also going to be available in Warzone, so that could bring about a new meta in Warzone as well. Again, not really with the Katana melee weapon, but I mean, we've seen what happened with the Kali sticks in the past, so never count it out, but especially with that Wellgun SMG, you might be seeing those in Caldera and Rebirth Island a little bit more. A brand new operator is also going to be dropping in the fight and that operator is going to be Isabella. Now Isabella was seen in the season 1 roadmap along with other operators like Lewis who was actually unlocked via the purchase of an in-store bundle. So again I think it would be safe to bet that Isabella is going to be unlocked the exact same way. So if you want this new operator you're going to have to purchase an in-store bundle. Now, of course, that is not confirmed. That is just something that I think it's quite possible that's how it's going to be. And if I was a betting man, that's where I'd be putting my money. Now, I think one of the most important things to talk about with this midseason update is hopefully going to be some big bug fixes in Vanguard as well as Warzone because we know that the games are a little bit buggy and glitchy right now and some fixes are definitely needed. I think first things first, looking at Warzone, we've definitely seen some issues with skins. There was the invisible skin glitch which was fixed, but now it's being reported by players that there are other skins that are appearing as invisible. So. Hopefully we see a complete fix to any invisible skin glitches because honestly, I've run into one or two of them in myself and it's really confusing when you're getting shot by someone you can't even see. Also, if you are like myself and you're a big fan of mastery camos, we're hoping to see some updates here in the midseason update that are going to allow players to actually unlock the Vanguard Mastery Camo for multiplayer Atomic. Now, although I personally won't be grinding for Atomic myself, I have a lot of friends and fellow content creators that are just one gun away from unlocking Atomic because the Panzerfaust challenges are still bugged 
and you actually still can't unlock the mastery camo now it has been over two months since vanguard's release and you still cannot unlock the mastery camo so I'm really, really hoping that people are going to be able to unlock it come the mid-season update. Now, one thing I'd also like to see fixed would maybe be some little spawn fixes, because some spawns can be buggy at times depending on the game mode, the map, the rotation of players. Spawns can be a little buggy. Now, I'm not really talking about shipment, because you really can't expect good spawns on shipment. It's meant to be hectic. But even like a map like DOS House, I could see some improvement in spawns and other maps, of course. Also, some other updates are going to be coming, such as nerfs with the fire, the incendiary grenades. And I talked about that in a recent video, and I'm going to link that in the description below. And I implore you to check that out. And I titled it something along the lines of Sledgehammer Confirms Updates because they're back in the office. And I honestly suggest you going and checking that video out so you can learn even more. But yeah, guys, that is effectively going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and found it helpful. And if you did, be sure to drop a like and a comment on it down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads for even more from me be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content also for the latest and greatest call of duty news intel and so much more be sure to connect with ipc using the links in the description of this video as well and other than that i hope you all have a great rest of your day and that's been it peace